Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your sync settings are grayed out on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So if you're attempting to try and sync your settings via uh, the settings console or settings menu in Windows across multiple devices and you're unable to do so, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully do that without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing, I just want to point out that you're unable to do this with a local account. You have to have a Microsoft-based account to sign in. So if you're not comfortable with that or you do not want to switch over to a Microsoft account, like basically your email address when you sign into your computer, if you don't want to do that, you're not going to be able to adjust those sync settings. So just keep that in mind. But if you're okay with that option, something else I will show you will be to basically convert your account to a Microsoft account or create a new account on your computer that you would then be able to sync settings with going forward so it'll all be on that new account. So let me just show you guys how to do that and we'd start by opening up the search menu and search for settings. Best match, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side you want to go ahead and locate the accounts entry in here. And then on the right side, you want to scroll down underneath account settings and select email and accounts. And now you would have to go ahead and select to add a Microsoft account. And you go ahead and actually go about creating an account just following through the procedure or the steps through here. And just make sure you're not selecting the add a new account option at the top. That's just going to sync your email or a different account to your computer. That's not actually creating a new account. So just don't get that confused. You want to go underneath accounts used by other apps and then select add a Microsoft account. Also, if you're running Windows 10 professional or higher editions, you may want to close out of here and open up the search menu and type in GP edit. Best match should come back with edit group policy. Go ahead and open that up. Now on the left side, you want to double click underneath computer configuration. So expand that option and then select administrative templates and double click on that folder as well. Go underneath Windows components, so double click on it. And there should be a sync your settings folder in here. Just go ahead and left click on that one time. Now on the right panel, locate where it says do not sync and double click on it. And you want to make sure it's set to not configured. And then you want to select apply and OK. And then once that is done, go ahead and close out of here and you want to restart your computer. And I will show an option for Windows 10 and 11 Home Edition users that do not have access to the Group Policy Editor. So I will show that in one moment here once our system restarts. So hopefully this was a pretty straightforward process for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.